Hi there, it's Mrs. Flynn. And Mr. Rops. And we're going to look at, this time, area of a sector. So, part B here. If we're given the circle again with center A and BAC being 50 degrees with a radius of 5, now we have to find the area of right. sector BAC. So right. now we're looking for this whole shaded region. Well, similar to the arc length, we did part to whole. Same with area. Let's do part to whole. Let's do the part is the angle over 360 to the whole, the area of the sector. You can call large A. Sure. Over the area of the entire circle, which we all know is pi r squared. Now it's just substituting in your values. Okay, so we go 50 over 360 equals, equals a over pi 5 squared. Right. All right. Let's cross on. Get rid of the zeros, cross multiply. 36a equals, yeah. let's see, 25 times 5. 125. All right. All right. And divide both sides by 36. And we get A to B approximately mm -hmm. over here. Yep. 125 pi divided by 36. 36. So 10.9. And that is, is unit squared. squared. Right, so that's approximately 10.9 units squared is the area. Okay, so part to whole, part to whole. Same that's idea right. for arc length and area of the sector. Nice. Okay, here's another problem, a bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. Given the area of a sector is 15 pi over 4 and the radius is r equals 5. Can, we draw, can we draw a quick picture of what, what it looks like? Here's our circle, nice and neat. Mm -hmm. The area of the sector is right. I should have in there. 15 pi by 4. Is the area. We know the radius is 3. We're looking for the length of the arc. Ah, so we want to find this here. That arc length. And we can call that maybe L. Well, let's start with what we know. Okay. We know the area of a sector and we know the formula for that is theta over 360 large a compared to, and since we know the area, we can mm. substitute that in. Oh, that's the whole though. That's the, that's the part. Area is 15 pi uh, by 4. Ah, thanks. We're upside down. Mm. Back up. Mm. I wonder if I can just do oh, this. Sure. All right. Let's try that again. Theta mm. over 360 is the area, part of the area is 15 pi by 4. All over pi, pi r squared, which is 3 squared. Okay. Right. Hmm. So we can find theta. By multiplying um, by, if we cross multiply, mm -hmm, theta 9 pi. Yeah. Equals uh, 360 times 15 pi over 4. Let's do some canceling yeah. before we divide, I think. Let's do let's get rid of that four and the three sixty is gonna make that ninety. All right, and ninety times fifteen. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't know that one. I'll just really quick do that over here. Thirteen fifty pi. All right, now divide by nine pi. Pies are gone. Nice. And so 13, 1350 divided by 9. And we'll go ahead and calculate that over here. So our degree is nice and even. 150. Okay, so now we need to find that length, the arc length. So Let's, uh, we know our angle is 150. We can use our arc length formula now and do our part the whole idea yet again. All right. So theta to 360 equals L to 2 pi r is our formula. 
and we know theta is 150 degrees. We can just solve that over 360 equals 6 pi. All right, cross multiply. Mm-hmm. 6 O equals 360 L. 36L, right? All right. So I can just go ahead and divide this by 36. Mm -hmm. So L is approximately. <laughs> like your squiggles. <laughs> 15 times 6 pi. Using the real calculator is way easier than this computer calculator. Yeah. <laughs> Divide by 36. Oh. Oh, dang it. Do you, do you know the shortcut to call it back? Oh, no, here's great. I don't. Go, go second, enter. I still have to figure yeah, that out. That. Go second, enter. Second. Enter. Oh. Back up. Just one and hit delete. Nice. That's a really great shortcut, especially when you have like a great big long thing you've put in. I could have used that before. 85. And we're at units. Units. It's a length. Super. All right, that's it for now. Bye bye.